Tweening UI elements can greatly improve the liveliness of your in-game menus. Tweening means shifting a UI element between two parameters, such as location, size, or color. Lean Tween is an excellent tool for tweening, which has a free tier on the Unity Asset Store. When I first downloaded it, I found that it wasn't exactly the plug-and-play that I hoped it would be. I'd like to share three of the most useful techniques that I've found for implementing this cool library. First, let's go over slide. In this simple example, we are sliding left to right, but you should be able to adapt what we learned today to slide in other ways too. Let's look at our variables. First two are tween speed and tween type. Tween speed is exactly what it sounds like. Tween type comes from the Lean Tween library. It is an enum for choosing what style you want your element to tween in as, such as bounce, linear, sign, and more. For our purposes, we can be sure that canvas will always be present in our parent because of the way we arranged our hierarchy. We will need it in a calculation later for determining tween positions. Rect Transform is a component that all UI elements have, which dictates their position and size. We need it because it has data about the pivot positions, and those are also needed for calculating tween positions. Outpose and Inpose are the tween positions. This calculation looks a little tricky, huh? Rect Transform Utility Pixel Adjust Rect is the most reliable way of getting the true size of our UI element after any shenanigans may occur that might affect the UI element. We take the width from that, then factor in the pivot positions of our UI element in order to calculate how far to the right or left our UI element needs to move in order to completely displace itself. We use isTweenedIn to determine whether our next tween needs to go to the outpose or the inpose. Every time we call toggle tween, we flip the value. Tween complete helps control whether we execute a new tween or not. For the sake of keeping it simple, let's not allow the user to start a new tween until the previous one is complete, or else our UI element might start flying around everywhere uncontrollably. If tween complete is not true, then we are in the middle of a tween, so let's not execute this method. If it is true, then it must be safe to start a new tween, but let's flip that bool back to false in order to prevent any attempts to start a new one. Finally, tween complete will return to true once again when lean move x completes. Those are our variables, now how do we put them in action? For our demonstration, we have set the tween to occur when button 0 is clicked. Lean move x does the tweening which we just spent the last few minutes preparing. And that's all there is to sliding. The others will be much simpler. Fade is easier, but has a few nuances of its own. We have already gone over tween speed, tween type, is tweened in, and tween complete. The only thing new here is canvas group. We don't need to do anything fancy with it besides to be mindful to put it on our component in the first place. In order to achieve the fading technique, we only need to call alpha canvas and pass in our canvas group. Scaling is the easiest of the three. There is nothing new here. All we need to do is call lean scale, passing in either a vector 3 of zeros or ones, according to whether we are scaling in or out. Let's go over one more bonus secret thing you can do with tweening. You may have noticed the buttons grow and shrink a little bit when the mouse hovers over them. How is that emphasis done? First, make sure we have an event system somewhere in our hierarchy. Then, we can put event triggers on each of our buttons. We can listen for pointer exit and pointer enter events. We have the same old tween speed and tween type variables as before. We do have a new variable for emphasis amount. This is how big you want your UI element to scale up when the mouse hovers over it. Now, it's a matter of scaling like we did before except we need to be a little more careful this time. We can't simply ignore calls to tween our UI elements this time, like we did before. That would be a bad user experience if the UI element did not de-emphasize when our pointer exited, if our pointer happened to exit before the UI element was finished emphasizing. Fortunately, lean tween comes with an ability to chain tweens together. I haven't mastered it myself, but what I can manage seems to function anyway. Let's declare a variable which will reference our active tween. Each time we start a new tween, if we are not already tweening, we will assign it to active tween. If we are already tweening, 
then we want to add the next tween to our list of things to do when the active tween is complete. It's a little tricky to think about. Just keep in mind that we only want one active tween, which updates itself if more than one tween starts queuing up. To copy the code that went into this demo, you can find a link to my website in the description. That's it for this one guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.